Hi everyone, uh, Chef Patrick from Cisco BC. I just wanted to talk quickly about your holiday turkey family meal kit that we put together for you. I know COVID and this pandemic has complicated the holidays for everybody. Doesn't mean you can't still sit down and enjoy a nice holiday dinner with those that do live with you. And this kit includes everything that you'll need for that. Um, guaranteed to have some leftovers. I'll touch a little bit on that product to product, but uh, let's see what you get. So start at the beginning, fresh cranberries. Don't be scared if you've never made a cranberry sauce before, it's super easy. Uh, what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna take a cup of white sugar, a cup of water, your cranberries, you're gonna put them all in a pot together, you're gonna bring it to a boil, you're gonna turn it down, let it simmer until they're soft and tender, then you're gonna check the sweetness. If it's too tart for you, add a little more sugar, add a little honey, whatever you'd like, uh, otherwise you're good to go. At that point, you're also welcome to add some cinnamon, some orange zest, whatever you'd like to jazz it up. Uh, be creative. Uh, moving on, buttermilk biscuits. I don't know someone who doesn't like a buttermilk biscuit and gravy, so we've included them in this box. Uh, you'll get six of them. Uh, this product comes frozen to you. Uh, it's fully cooked, so you don't need to worry about baking time or anything like that. You just need to reheat it in the oven. Let them thaw. Fire them into the oven, whatever you have it on temperature will be fine, 375 to 400 is optimal. Uh, give them five minutes, bring them up, they'll be nice and hot, nice and fluffy, just like a homemade uh, biscuit. Next we have a root veg mix. So part of Cisco's Fresh Cuts program is that we have a team that will cut up and peel and do all the hard work for you. What you end up with is a nice mix of root vegetables that you can then fire in the oven and roast without any of the labor. So what we have in here, we have uh, celeriac, which if you don't know is the celery, it's the root of the celery plant. Uh, we have parsnips, rutabaga, carrots, butternut squash. Now these all have similar cooking times, uh, so don't be worried about overcooking or undercooking. My suggestion would be to keep it simple, toss it in a little bit of oil, olive oil if you like the flavor, uh, hit it with some salt and pepper, lay it out on a sheet pan, one layer, fire it into your oven, 375, 20 minutes, half hour, they should be done. Just check them with a fork. When they're fork tender, they're ready to go. If you like them a little darker, you can crank that oven up at that point, get a little caramelization on them. Uh, you can also add a little bit of honey if you like that as well. Uh, let's move on to mashed potatoes. So I wanna talk a little bit about this because the perception of boiling a bag potatoes doesn't always get the best reputation. Uh, these are a phenomenal product. So these are made by Reezers. They are pure Yukon Gold potato and full dairy products. They have full fat milk in them. They have full butter in them. It's like a potato that you'd make at home. It just comes in a bag. So these are fresh. You have multiple options with this bag. The easiest one is gonna to be to take the whole bag and drop it into a large pot of boiling water. Uh, bring it up to temperature. You'll know when it's hot, it's ready to go. Cut it open, mashed potatoes, done. Uh, speaking to the leftovers, this will be a bigger bag than likely than four to six people can eat in one sitting. Uh, what I would do, like any potato, I, I, uh, you're gonna reheat it the next day, the day after. When you do reheat it, add a bit of liquid to it so that you don't burn it. Uh, you can add water to it, you can add more dairy products, you could add chicken stock if you want. Uh, just uh, reheat it nice and slow in a pot and you're ready to go. After that, we'll talk stuffing. So this is a nice big bag. Um, this is our traditional stuffing mix. It cuts out a lot of the uh, time and effort to make uh, stuffing. It tastes great. What you get is you get essentially nice small croutons. I'll show these to the camera here. Uh, they do obviously grow a little bit once there's liquid added to them. And then you get this seasoning packet, the stuffing mix. So what this has in it is a bunch of dried herbs, celery, salt, parsley, thyme, oregano, etc. It also is essentially your chicken stock as well. So you're welcome to add more, but the general instructions, they do come on the bag, is to mix your stuffing mix with water. That provides your stock and all your seasoning. You're gonna mix it into the breadcrumbs and then it's basically, you're gonna treat it like a normal stuffing from that point onwards. So if you're regular stuffing, you wanna stuff the bird to get extra flavor, feel free to do that. If you wanna leave it as a stovetop style stuffing, that's fine as well. Uh, 
As far as leftovers go, you do not have to use this whole packet. You definitely don't have to use this whole bag. They're essentially croutons. So if you want to split the bag up, throw them in an airtight container, use them on your Caesar salads, use them for stuffing in the future. They'll last indefinitely as long as they're in an airtight container. Gravy. It's a packaged gravy, but it's a great product. Uh, super simple, not much to say on this one. Uh, add it to cold or hot water, bring it to a boil, let it thick into your desired consistency, ready to go. Uh, again, just like the stuffing, this package will make about four to five liters of gravy. That is likely going to be too much for these holidays this year. So I suggest either trying to roll with a half pack or again, your gravy, you can freeze it after, you can keep it in the fridge. There's lots of uses afterwards. Move on to the turkey. So what we provided for you is a Lilydale brand grade A young turkey. These are all Canadian grown on Canadian soil and they are all free run. Um, just to clarify that, all turkeys in Canada now are, are raised free run. They've got away from the cages. Uh, it's a more ethical option and it is, it's a great product. It's, it's likely the same turkey that you'd buy in the store. We've just provided it for you. Um, I don't want to speak too much about it. Everyone has their own methods for turkey, uh, but uh, that, that's it. Last but not least, we have our uh, chef here, ready to bake apple pie. So this is a homemade style pie. Uh, essentially what you're getting is just cutting out the labor of cutting your apples, maybe pre-cooking them, rolling out your pie dough, uh, etc. So you got your pie, you're gonna wanna bake it at 400 in a conventional oven or 350 to 375 in a convection oven. Uh, if you do wanna vent it just in case, feel free to slice it. Now they suggest to cook it from frozen. It will cook from thawed just fine. Just make sure that you adjust the cooking time and keep an eye on it. Uh, if you'd like to, near the end when you have 10 or 15 minutes left, feel free to brush it with some egg wash and top it with some uh, granulated sugar. Uh, it's always a nice touch to finish the pie, get a nice color on it and get that sugar crust. I think uh, that's pretty much all that I have for you today. So that shows you all the products you get in this awesome meal kit. Uh, I hope that you enjoy them all and I hope the dinner turns out good and Merry Christmas to everyone. Thanks.